Testing one, two. Hi guys, welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Welcome to you if you're new to the channel and a huge welcome back, of course, to all our regular viewers and subscribers. Now, this is part two of the top new anticipated VR games coming out next year in, well, this year in 2022 on the Oculus Meta Quest 2, HP, Reverb, G2 and PC VR. Very sorry, I had a problem in the previous video where I, I don't know, something happened at the editing. So this is the continuation from the previous video, go and check out the video I uploaded literally a few minutes ago, a couple of hours ago, uh, to watch all the part one. This is part two. Guys, we are giving away, however, a brand new HP Reverb G2, as well as, of course, a brand new pair of cyber shoes with the gaming station and also a voucher worth 50 US dollars that you can redeem against your MetaQuest or your Viport or Steam VR store. Be completely up to you as to how you want to spend the money. All right, back to today's video, continuing list version part two. See you guys. And at the end of the video, sorry, um, I'm also doing a welcome to the new subscriber to the channel. Okay, see you. Let's play the video. It doesn't seem like uh, they're just teasing us with some interview or something. All right, we're just going to have to wait as to what's going to happen. PSVR 2 games. All right, uh, we could endlessly speculate about what titles PSVR uh, might be lining up for its much anticipated PS5 VR headset. Um, so, the like Gran Turismo 7 and Resident Evil 8. So, this one, uh, you can, I'll, I'll put a link below to the channel to, to the details of all the games here for PSVR. Requisition PC VR. Okay. Arcadia, oh, very cool. Arcadia Home Invention Zombie Survival Game stands out from the pack with its promise of makeshift weaponry assembled from everyday items with full co-op support included. Requisition could be a lot of fun with friends in 2022. So let's just check out some of the gameplay, see what is in store here. Yeah, the graphics look pretty good. Not too bad. So another kind of shooting kind of game, zombies and things, all right. I mean, you know, honestly speaking, 2021 has been such a great year with After the Fall and also Satan Sinners, uh, you know, The Walking Dead. I mean, some of those titles, the graphics are absolutely amazing. And of course, Half-Life Alex. So it's going to be very tough to, you know, the, the bar has been raised so high in 2020 and 2021 that it's going to be very interesting to see how all these new zombie games and horror games are going to fare against all these other titles because the bars I mentioned have been set pretty high. Uh, okay, Ruins Magus, mixing elements of visual novels and JRPGs. Uh, Ruin Magus boasts gorgeous art that will surely delight fans of the genre. The game may not have passed its Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign, but an international release is still very much on the cards. All right, let's check this out. This looks absolutely beautiful, I have to say. Let's see this thing. The artwork looks really amazing. It looks, uh, reminds me a little bit of VR chat, to be honest. Looks very nice. Really looking forward to this game. Uh, I would say it's medium poly, but the artwork does look very nice. It looks very much like a story driven kind of game. Looks beautiful. Looks really, really beautiful. Looks very immersive. Look forward to playing this kind of genre in 2022. The Shaw VR, PC VR, a port of the original PC game from 2021. The Shaw is a Lovecraft inspired adventure that matches many of the creator's most vivid works. All right, so we, we should, we short to expect a full, uh, a, a, a full, sorry, what? A full native, a full native uh, VR port. Okay, cool. Oh, wow, the graphics do look very nice as well. Looks very immersive. Very interesting. Cool, I'll try to get hold of the, um, of the developers to see what it's going to be, because this looks actually pretty well made, uh, pretty well done, I have to admit. I'm sure this is going to be very, very immersive. So a lot of different monsters here on an alien world. Very cool, we need this kind of stuff. A lot of fog around, looks very immersive, very cinematic. Cool, look forward to this game. Splinter Cell VR on the quest. Ooh, okay, so as with Assassin's Creed VR, we know practically nothing about this new game in the Splinter Cell series. All right, so Quest 2, Meta Quest 2, there you go. And of course, next year, guys, um, there will be a brand new Meta headset, the Cambria version of the headset. It will not be called a Quest, apparently, coming out May onwards, we think, or perhaps before, who knows. But before that, do remember that we are giving away a brand new HP Reverb D2, as well as a Cyber Shoes gaming station with a Cyber Shed, the carpet, and absolutely everything else, and a voucher worth 50, 50 US dollars that you can redeem with your Meta, uh, Meta 
Twitter, Oculus Quest Store, Viport, and also Steam VR Store. So do make sure to go to the link below, click on that to register. All the details are there. And online be your bell after you subscribe, as you could be, as we will be notifying you if you have won. All right, so let's move on to the next games. Uh, stress Level uh, Zero's project will be coming out as well. Truth be told, we were hoping we'd have seen what was next from the developers of Boneworks by now, but hopefully our patience will be rewarded in 2022. We know that Stress Level Zero is working on multiple projects. So cool. Hopefully new stuff in 2022 by them. T for God Quest PC VR. Now T for God was a great thing on SideQuest. Really awesome experience. Great to see that they're coming out with the actual heads, uh, the actual full-fledged game. Uh, so let's Though it's been an early access for years now, uh, 2022 promises to be the year that's impossible. Uh, that's impossible. Space shooters, base shooter gets a full launch. Uh, so we are very much looking forward to this uh, because it is really good fun. I mean, it's phenomenal. It was amazing to play this on the Quest One. Uh, very early access. They have been taking the time. It is true in terms of you know what to do and all these things. But you know, hopefully, we see it this year. Trial by tongue on PC VR. Awesome. So HP Reverb D2. Mm, this is going to be great for you. 2021 was uh, <clears throat> a quiet one for this promising puzzling adventure 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 game. Sorry, uh, which has been toiling away at Charms Games. The scope of the development cycle has us hoping that this will be a longer effort from the studio that give us some really innovative puzzles. Hopefully we'll see more of this in 2022. So this will be a puzzle VR game. Charm Games do amazing, amazing VR titles. I love their games. They're great supporter to the channel. They help us all the time. We're great supporters of them because they do great stuff and also because they help us as well grow. So thank you Charms Games for your support. You do great things and we're really looking forward to this. And hopefully with some luck, you'll be able to provide us a key as well uh, to testing this out. So do enable the bell after you subscribe so you don't miss potentially our review and gameplay of this game. Uh, the Twilight Zone VR, ooh, another oddity from VR publishers, a fun train. The Twilight Zone VR promises to pay tribute to the cult TV show with a series of unique stories designed specifically for the medium. Mm, this is going to be very interesting. What do you think, guys? The Twilight Zone, are you into this kind of stuff? Are they teasing us here on the trailer? We can't get any gameplay. Are you... Ah, it would have been nice to, to see some gameplay. Ultimax, all right, cool. We've only seen a short teaser of the next title from Resolution Games, awesome. But it seems pretty easy to grasp. Simple, simply put, Ultimax looks like Rocket League with mechas, with mechs. All right, so let's take a look at this. Let's see what it is. Resolution Games, of course, very famous in the space. They've released a whole bunch of different titles as well. Really looking forward to this. Really looking forward to this. Excuse me. So let's see what they have in reserve. Uh, teaser, we don't have any actual gameplay, so uh, we're just gonna have to take a wait and see. Ultra Wings 2, of course, Ultra Wings, very popular for Quest 1 especially. Uh, it's available also on PC VR. We'll release Ultra Wings 2 next year as well, so this is very much anticipated. Looking forward to this, all your kind of plane scenes and all this. Let's see what the graphics are like. Graphics are okay. Um, to me, this seems more like for, again, for VR enthusiasts who just want to have uh, a first try in VR, especially for flight sims, they're not very serious, you know, not super hyper realistic, but just good fun and very relaxing experiences, uh, family and also for the younger ones, I would say, then this will be perfectly suited for you. Uh, for more hardcore fans, you know, who like, uh, you know, Microsoft Flight Simulator or this kind of stuff or D DCS, uh, then of course it's probably not for you, uh, but this will be, this seems to be something quite, you know, quite cool. So very much looking forward to trying this one also later in the year. There on VR, PC VR, it's been through extensive testing, but constant updates have us hopeful that Veil will still see the light of day. Veil, I mean, I've tested it. It's okay. I mean, there aren't many people in it at the moment because, of course, it's on the testing. Uh, it looks quite fun because it's one of those other shooter uh, co-op games where you get to shoot different people, work in teams, you know, all this kind of stuff. Um, but, you know, it's going to be very, very tough. Uh, you know, the competition is very tough in this space. There's a lot of people doing these kind of things. So let's see what's, you know, going to be available uh, in terms of, 
of, of what they're looking to do. But the graphics do look super sweet. I do like the team. I did meet up with the team. So I'm very much looking forward to what they have to release next year. Vertical 2 on PC VR, Zulubo production sci-fi shooter series is long overdue for its full sequel, but we're hoping 2022 will be the year we finally get to play Vertical 2. So this looks pretty cool. Another shooter game. So let's just check out the graphics um, and see whether it will be out in 2022. It looks very sweet, I have to admit. I mean, another shooter game. The graphics look very nice, I have to admit. Wow. This is some of the best graphics I've seen so far in a trailer for a shooter game. So definitely something to look out for. I think what's going to start to win in VR now is things that basically get better and better graphics. Uh, because if you do stuff that is 2020, I think they're going to lose out. I think... I think people are going to become much more savvy in terms of graphics, reality, uh, because the better the graphics, the better the immersion inside. Of course, the better the PC you're going to need. Uh, and hopefully, you know, uh, the Picone 3 Pro or, or, or the MetaQuest or whatever next uh, PC, uh, standalone uh, VR headsets come out can handle all these kind of things. Because, of course, the better the graphics, then the more uh, CPU, PSU, GPU you're going to need to do it. Wander on PSVR and PC VR, January 28th, this escape room style puzzle. Uh, puzzle has us interested. Okay, so this is a escape room puzzler available on PSVR and PC VR. So this looks very interesting. Let's check this out. Looks very interesting as well. Graphics look okay. It looks kind of, uh, kind of, I wouldn't say horror, but almost like Half-Life Alex a little bit. It, and I can see some inspiration here from Half-Life Alex. For sure. So this looks very, very interesting as well. Love to get my hands on it and test it out. So if the developers are watching, do get in touch with us as we will get in touch with you for sure. Zenith, the last city quest, PS VR, PC VR, early 2022. Uh, we thought for sure that Zenith was biting off more than it could chew. A full VR, uh, VR MMO from the new developer running across all major platforms. Surely it couldn't be done. Well, we've played the beta and it looks like Ramen VR might actually pull it off. Uh, so this will be an MMO in VR. So let's check out the graphics very quickly. Graphics look all right. Uh, look okay. Not too bad. Um, yeah, looks looks pretty immersive, pretty 3D. I think because there's going to be a lot of people inside, they're trying to keep the graphics as simple as possible. But yeah, the special effects pretty look pretty nice. And also it's got some kind of population one here. Uh, inspiration as you can fly and you can see the trails. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty right. I think those who are MMO fans, of course, are going to love this kind of genre. So let's take a look and see what it looks like in 2022. Looking forward to this. Uh, Ziggy's Comics Cosmic Adventures on Quest PC VR in fall of 2022. Ziggy is one of those crucial VR efforts that looks to focus on immersion above all else. Uh, it's got a fully interactive cockpit that you can physically walk around in. Oh, cool. A sprawling set of features to maintain your spaceship and motion-based flight controls. Cool, awesome. Let's check this out. Let's check the graphics. Oh, they look very much like 3D. Cool, this looks pretty nice. This looks very nice. Wow, some very cool graphics there, guys. It looks uh, even more polished than um, Star Wars. Uh, the Star Wars one. Sorry, I forgot the, the, the full name of the, the Star Wars, but this looks very polished, very clean, very clear. I think this is going to be one of those. Um, and I'm not quite sure about the little pet there, but uh, you know, you can't judge until you actually play the game, but it looks very, very interesting. Um, and that's it, guys. So yeah, so guys, thank you so much for, for watching today's video. I've got to get back to you. I've got to welcome some new subscribers because this today is the first official recorded video of the year. We did do a live stream earlier today of all the different parties in VR, where we went to Allspace, VR Chat, Sensor, Neos, uh, Big Screen, and various other social media platforms. So do go and check out the live stream once it's up. And also yesterday we did another uh, video all about parties, where to party during the new year 2022. So go and check out that video as well. So let's just welcome some new subscribers to the channel before we end the video today. And do remember, guys, that we are giving away a brand new HP Reverb G2, as well as a brand new pair of cyber shoes, um, a, a, a voucher worth 50 US dollars that you can redeem against your Oculus MetaQuest store, as well as your Steam VR and Viveport 
store. So do enable your bell after you subscribe to make sure that you are notified if you are the winner and go to the link below to register. I'd like to welcome Craig Richards, Dennis to Society LLC for very sorry, don't know how to pronounce your name, but welcome to you. Top Swan, Rob Harrington, Ivan Osses or Ivan Osses, Everett Powered, Alex Amet, Pnavlovic uh, or Pnavolonic, Pnav Pnavolanic, sorry, and Just Tech. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. I'd also like to welcome Dunning Lee, uh, Chris Lair Cara McBride, Hell House Productions, Vera Lyoko, uh, Su Nun, uh, Iben Ose, uh, Juan Paguada, uh, John Warsawick, and also Caro Violetta. Guys, thank you so much for joining the channel, you guys. Freaking love you guys. It's thanks to you and thank you to all the others I haven't mentioned today. I haven't welcomed, but you've joined the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers, guys. Make sure to reshare uh, the videos as much as possible because you decide as to when we do the giveaway of the HP Reverb 2 the Cyber Shoes, and the 50 US dollar voucher. It's up to you. The more you reshare, the more people sign up fast, the sooner we will get to do that giveaway. Do go to the link below to, this, to, to go and find out all the details. All right, guys, take it easy and I'll see you in another video very soon and in the comments below. Take it easy, guys. Bye.